Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry and I love all things makeup and beauty related and especially when it is an indie brand. And especially when it's an indie brand I've never tried before and they are brand new and they're launching their first makeup product and that is what we have got today. So I am so excited. When this brand reached out to me, I was like, I wanna send you our first product. I'm like, yes, please, that would be amazing. I love eyeshadow palettes. I love bright, colourful makeup. You will know that if you've been on my channel before. So Dreamhouse Cosmetics are a brand new brand, UK based indie brand, and they are launching their first eyeshadow palette. It's called Midnight Garden. I do have close-ups and swatches, so let's get into that now. So this palette was very kindly gifted to me. It is vegan and cruelty free and I love the colour story. It's very deep and sort of grungy, especially when it's swatched out. I'm excited to dive into this. The launch date should be revealed sometime next week, so I'm so excited that I get to play with this now. And we do have 12 shades and four of them are matte and eight are shimmers. This kind of colour story and the way that the palette is, it's kind of giving me vibes a little bit of the Lois Cosmetics most recent palette. Was it in the Midnight? What was it called? Meet Me at Midnight. That's what it was called. It's not the same at all by any means, but it's just giving me that sort of vibe. I absolutely love the packaging. Can I just say the packaging of this, the font, the way that it feels a little bit I don't want to say raised because the writing is flat, but it just feels really nice quality. It did come in a beautiful little box like this. And I really, even inside the box, like it's really nice, the artwork, the nice little tissue paper and the little thank you card. And I just, I love little touches like that. I think it's all really nice. It was beautiful when I received this and opened it. I'm not currently sure how much this is going to retail for because like I say, it doesn't launch until next week but any information that i do have will be down in the description box and i will update that as i know more I'm just gonna prime with my natasha denona eye base and i can't tell you how excited i am i absolutely love trying new brands especially indie brands so this is a real treat today okay so staring at the color story i don't feel like i know what i am doing today to be quite honest with you i'm not sure which direction i want to go in but because we only have four mats um, I'm going to have to start with one of those and work on something either brown, purple or blue. And if you know me, I do prefer a matte heavy palette. That's just my personal preference. Um, and I do like a lot of depth in my palettes. Um, the blue seems to be the deepest of the mattes. So maybe we should start out with that one. Just going to start by packing this in the outer corner. And I didn't know if I was going to get fallout, so I haven't got my base on already today okay straight away pigment is there and that is giving me some nice depth then i feel like i want to go into the shade enchanted which is the purple matte i don't know why i'm choosing to do something a little bit more complex today like, why Kerry? Why this is gonna look real rough till the end? Just a little warning. And then I'm gonna take that purple enchanted shade and continue that toward the inner corner area. Okay, I've just cleaned up a bit with a makeup wipe. Is it making a bit more sense yet? Can you see my vision? I will sort out the blend at the top when I've got my base and everything on, but for now, I think I wanna do a cut crease. Okay, I just used my P. Louise Rumour 01 to cut crease and a nice flat brush. And I'm thinking, what shimmers do I want to use? I'm looking at Ivy, which is like a white with pinky sort of reflex in it. That is beautiful. Under the stars also looks stunning. How am I supposed to choose? Then we have Ivy. You know I'm tempted with this. And... To be honest, when I was watching the red, that is one of the best red shimmers. I mean, I don't know if it's going to go with this look, but that is 
stunning i feel like this would go so well but i don't want it to get lost this is violet sky it's like a purple with a black base also beautiful okay so first i think i'm going to take fairy which is this one here I'm just taking that on a refa 02 brush and i have sprayed it i'm just going to put that at the front of this cut crease because i'd need some light brightness in this look somewhere okay that is definitely a beautiful white with a pink reflect that is stunning then i think i'm gonna flip my brush over and go into under the stars which was the second one i had on my finger which is also nice and bright and we're just gonna connect up those two then i think i do want to go into the violet sky just to finish it off and then with the shade i'm just gonna make a bridge between the shimmer and the matte with this deeper shimmer shade oh i am out of breath now because i just got a delivery and i had to run down the stairs to the other end of the house that's always fun and then i'm just going to take the blue matte that we started with and just tap over the edge to make a nice gradient between the shimmers and the mets Okay, let me jump off, put my base on, all of that good stuff, and then we'll come back, sort the inner lash line in a corner, all the little finicky ending parts, and we'll see what this look turns out like. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look, and I have to say, I really, really like how it turned out. Let me tell you the extra things that I did. So I did go back into the Midnight Garden palette, and I did pop a little bit of Under the Stars on the lower lash line and a little bit of Nightfall, which was the blue shimmer. Obviously, I added some gems. They're just cheap gems. I think they were from Amazon. And I did go in with a little bit of liner just around the cut crease. And that is from the Attitude Cosmetics Split It Painter's Paradise palette. This was gifted to me from Attitude Cosmetics. And I do have a code with them if you want to pick this up. And it's not affiliated. And I used the nice pastel-y shade down here, the pastel purple, just to line the cut crease. And then I don't know if you can tell or see from there, it depends where the light hits, but I did stick a tiny little butterfly, sort of iridescent -y butterfly. Also, I think that was from Sheen. Felt like lots of different colours of butterflies. Um, and I feel like I really like how it's come together. It's giving me sort of midnight vibes and it's a midnight garden palette so i mean i match the palette quite well looking at it now i'm i'm quite impressed i match the palette in my waterline i went in with my beauty bit eyeshadow stick in the shade jungle sky please don't sleep on these these are amazing and really reduced at the minute on beauty bay and the limited edition like when they're gone they're gone and they're really good for the waterline i also did line my lips with my steve laurent lip liner in the shade vogue and then a brand new lip gloss sent to me from my lovely friend thank you so much it's the Michaela and glam light lip gloss this is the goldie one does it have the actual name on this okay if it does i cannot see it but it's the goldie one and i feel like it is so pretty especially just with some nude lip liner hmm. that is a really nice formula that is not sticky and horrible that feels more leaning toward a lip oil so you know i'm gonna love that yeah. overall i really like how it all came together the shimmers look very pretty i really like how all the tones work with each other i'm impressed so let's talk about the palette packaging goals really 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 like the packaging really like the fact it's a uk indie brand i absolutely love indie brands especially when they're in the uk because then it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg to order from them because i do have a weakness as well for us indie brands so my thoughts on this palette for me personally my personal preference is i prefer a matte heavy palette so if that was something i could change i definitely would i would add a slightly deeper shade than the blue moon just because i really do love my depth but overall, I think it's a really nice selection. And I was staring at this palette and I was thinking there's so many different ways that you can go with this. Like the colour selection might look a bit random, but then I was looking and I'm like, I was debating using Fairy and Queen of Hearts together with the purple matte. And that could be a gorgeous look. You could just stick to sort of a blue smoky look. You could definitely just keep it neutral if you wanted to. Obviously, there's the gorgeous greens. Again, I haven't gone into green today. I don't really know what's wrong with me. Um... 
yeah we're gonna have to do some green soon but yeah you can definitely keep it neutral you can keep it colorful you can mix it up this red shimmer i need to test because swatching it it was absolutely stunning and it's really hard for me to find a nice red shimmer that i like so when i come across one i'm like ooh, and this one is really nice now obviously i didn't test all the shades on my eyes today but the shades that i did test were nice i would say the mattes are on more of the drier side there was a tiny little bit of fallout in the pan um, and the shimmers are your standard shimmer formula but some of them do definitely have a bit of a reflect to them especially this fairy shade down here that's got a pink sparkle and violet sky is absolutely gorgeous that looks like a bit of a duochrome super pretty i feel like it's a good quality palette and if you like the color story and you like uk indie brands and you want to try it out then give it a go please let me know what you think to this look down below are you interested in this new brand are you interested in picking up this palette i probably would have been tempted if this hadn't have been sent to me because like i say i absolutely love indie brands, trying new makeup and I'm so happy that I got to test this palette today. So thank you so much to Dreamhouse Cosmetics for sending this to me. It really does blow my mind when people want to reach out to me and send me things. I'm like, are you sure? Me? But yeah, once again, thank you so, so much. And thank you for watching this video. If this is the sort of content that you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing and hopefully guys, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.